Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And today I'd like to show you one of our most popular databases for online learning. It's called lynda.com. So the first thing you need to do is go to our website, sapple.ca, and you're going to click on eLibrary. Now I'm recording this on my iPad. This might look a little bit different if you're on a computer or on a phone, but this is the same way you get there. So a little bit further down, you're gonna see lynda.com. We're gonna click on the more button because I just wanna show you a bit of information. So here we have a description of what lynda.com is. It is an online learning tool. They are all pre-recorded videos taught by the experts in the fields of which those courses are. You can access lynda.com only via a browser. Now that's like Firefox, Safari, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, etc. It does have an app but the apps don't work with libraries, so don't use the lynda.com app. It also has a link to the lynda.com help site on this page, as well as your privacy policy, policy in terms of reference. So we're gonna click on lynda.com. Here we go. I do apologize for the lag. That is my internet, not, <laughs> not lynda.com. So when you're going to try to access it, you're going to put in your library card number and your PIN number. So your St. Albert Public Library card number begins with five twos. That's the number you want to use. So I'm already logged in, so we're just going to pop over here. And now a lot of people associate lynda.com with business courses, computer software, um, that sort of thing. And it certainly it has all of that. But it also has courses that you probably wouldn't realize. And one of them I have up here. We are all probably working from home. I bet the vast majority of us and we probably spend a lot of time sitting. So this is a course that I pulled up called Chair Work, and it is doing fitness and stretching at your desk. So that's not something you might not, you might not expect to see that on lynda.com. So I just wanted to give you a bit of a tour of lynda.com. So this gives us a description of what the course is about, how long it is, it's 33 minutes, the skill level is beginner, it's been quite a popular course, it's had over 9,000 views, and then the author is the teacher. Now, if you wanna know more about that teacher, you can click on that and that will give you a bit of information about the instructor. So we're gonna pop back. Now, the one thing I like about all the courses on lynda.com is they all have a transcript. So I'm gonna tap on that. So as the video is going along, the transcript will read, you can read what exactly what the instructor is saying. And I find that really helpful to be able to see what they're saying as well as watching the video and hearing what they're saying. Now where it says view offline, that does not work with libraries. So don't try to use that, it won't work. Stick to your overview and your transcript. And I'll just give you a little sample here of how this works. Hey Desk Yogis, today we're gonna to play with a really simple posture, seated mountain. And there we are, so that's how it works. And you can see right in the transcript, the highlighted part in yellow, that's where he is speaking right now really, really easy to use. And let's say you want to skip ahead and let's say you really don't want to do um, the introduction. You're going to want to skip, skip ahead to hip stretches. You can do that. And I also wanted to show you, oh, that's interesting. Now, if it does pop that up there saying, start my free month, ignore it. You're already signed in as the library. So you don't have, in through the library, you don't have to do anything else. You can search up here where it says library. There's all different topics and learning paths. Those tend to be more um, computer programs, animation, 3D modeling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, some marketing. They do have tons of photography courses. Mostly the way I would recommend doing it is just doing a keyword search. So Let's say you'd like to learn to sing, but you've never had time to take singing lessons. Let's try doing the word singing and see what it brings up. There we go. So there are singing lessons on here as well as other music lessons, lots of things on here. So some hobby things. So those are kind of fun. Let's say right now you've got lots of time and you really want to learn Excel. Let's type Excel in here. There we are. So we've got tons of courses for Excel, over 6,000. I would definitely recommend you filter it down by skill level. I'm going to click on beginner. There we are. And that narrowed it down to 1,200 results. You, if you want a course that's short, you can narrow it down by 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour if you want to do the whole thing. 
So I'm just gonna randomly pick one. We're gonna do look at the essential training. This is probably one of the longest ones they've got. Yep, two hours and eight minutes. So you can see there's lots of information on there. There's all the different topics that are going to be going on in this course. And don't use the notebook again. That's the part that is not available to libraries. So tons of things on here. Again, you can see the transcript. Really, really, really well done. And we actually use some of lynda.com to teach our tech classes at the library. So I can definitely say it is very popular. But I really wanted to show you things that you wouldn't expect that would be on here. So as well as having yoga classes and voice lessons, they also have meditation. So right now we definitely need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. And I'm going to pull up a, a class here. There we go. So we're just searching. There we go. Meditation. So there's lots of courses there on self care. And then there's also a really great course very timely for what's going on right now in the world called supporting your well-being during times of change and uncertainty. So that is one I would definitely recommend you have a peek at. Let's say though you are a teacher or you're trying to teach your child. There is a course for teaching online. Now sometimes with lynda.com you really have to play around with what search terms you're using. So I'm just started to put the word teaching in and it's trying to be helpful pulling up things that I don't want to do. So we're just gonna try this slightly differently. We're gonna say online teaching. And I'm hoping that search term will bring what we want. There we go, learning to teach online. I can definitely say there's a lot of us that could handle taking a course on that right now. That's a short little one, uh, 46 minutes. There is a whole series called how to teach online that you can take and those are all courses that fall underneath it so that might be a useful one for useful one for you as well so those are just some of the things that you can take on the dot com but there are thousands and there's no limit on how many courses you can take per month you can do as much as you want so i would highly recommend that you check it out it is free with your St. Albert Public Library card and enjoy learning. Thank you.